Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, with that being said, cross watchers, you guys are welcome. Just don't put any bullshit in my comments because I may pop off or I may just delete you. I don't know, it's a 50-50 split. So uh, if you wanna run the gamut, go right ahead. With that being said, Cancer, let's just hop into your reading. So I've already pulled the core set of cards and I'm just gonna clarify now. I feel like it kind of speeds the reading up and it's not making it as like uh, boring. So let's just hop into it. Your overall energy, and I've pulled your energy about three times, and it's consistently the same. I feel like there's a level of healing that's going on. There's something in particular, Cancer. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it may have even been from childhood where there's something that you're healing. There's something here that this month, um, something that has blocked you beforehand. Okay, something that I feel like maybe you didn't know about. I feel like you're finally starting to understand why romantically things are happening to you and why you attract certain people. We have the moon reversed, so Pisces or Cancer. Um, I think that, again, I think that it's, it's, it's been hard for you to completely heal from a family situation. And I feel like during this time period, I think that certain things trigger you, right? Like if you're somebody that has abandonment issues, you know, you're scared that somebody's gonna leave. So if somebody goes quiet, it freaks you out, right? It's like, there's these things that we're understanding are certain triggers for us, right? And those are our karmatic things that we have to take with us. And um, a lot of times it's, it's our parents' karma, right? But I feel like this month, you're really healing those things. You're really healing those issues and you're putting in the work and you're no longer sweeping it under the rug and pretending like it doesn't happen, um, which I think is beautiful. Now, romantically, um, what's the current energy romantically for Cancer? Ten of Pentacles, come through. There's a Virgo, Mercury and Virgo. You know, I just think right now, this month, whatever was hidden is, is coming to light, okay? Um, how does Cancer feel about this? Judgment, okay? There's Capricorn. I always think judgment is Capricorn. Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius. I feel like you're finally starting to understand. For some of you guys, you're finding out that your person had a whole other family aside from you. Um, and I think that you're starting to find out certain items pertaining to family. And you're starting to understand whether or not you want to move forward with this person or if you want to kind of keep them at a distance. Now, your person's energy towards you, it's fun with the star. So I feel like your person is in a place where they want to have a good time. I don't know if they've necessarily reached out to you and made you a solid offer, a solid commitment. I feel like that doesn't happen nowadays, as weird as that sounds. It's like you're either talking, right, where you're not committed or you're married. And it's like that talking phase, people can talk to whoever they want. I feel like this person right now is just in a place where they want to have a good time with you. Um, I do think that they understand how unique, you know, this situation is. And I do think that there is something here that your partner is going to express to you. Um, here is Aquarius again. And I think that it happens after it's exposed, right? Because for me, the star always comes after the tower. So that's kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like your partner is, is drawing you in and saying, okay, we've had this. Now, how are we planning on moving forward? And I also feel like too, your partner is acknowledging cancer that they've not done everything that they could possibly do to make you happy. I am getting that because I have an energy here where it's, it's very brash. It's very like straight to the point. Like you're either going to do it or you're not. And at this point, I don't care. Right. It's that type of energy. And I think that your per person knows that knows that that's coming in for you. So your overall energy towards your person is the truth with the nine of wands. I think the truth is, honestly, Cancer, they made you wait for a long time. I mean, I feel like for some of you guys, it's been years. Um, 
that they've made you wait before explaining to you. So your actions towards them is like you may be keeping them at a distance because it's like, why did you have me wait? Why did you have me there confused, right? Um, Nine of Wands, that's definitely um, Moon in Sag, right? And Moon in Sag is one where there's a level of distance. There's a level of resistance. Like, I feel like with the truth here, you're a little resistant to kind of come forward towards them. Why? Why? Why is Cancer? Because of the world. And it's death with, with uh, the chariot. So there's Scorpio or Aries. You also have Cancer, Leo, Aquarius, um, Taurus. How does Cancer feel about this? How does Cancer feel about this? The lovers. Here's what I think. I feel like Cancer, and it's, it's interesting, death here to me is not an ending, okay? To me, this is a rebirth. And the reason I'm saying that is because your current situation is rebirth. So I feel like there was an ending to anything that's currently stalled you and your person from moving forward. I feel like with the world here, there is some type of conclusion. There is some type of completion when it comes to you um, not being 100% filled in. And I feel like for you guys now, it's forward movement and you and your person are finally on the same page and capable of having that forward movement. Prior to this, there was too many secrets. There was too many illusions. And I think cancer, your intuition, it's so on point that you knew what was going on. You were just waiting to see how long it was going to take for that person to actually acknowledge it and say it, right? Um, but I do feel like that's all wrapping up and I do feel like it's coming to an end. Holy shit. Look at this. The two of cups with the lovers. So there's Cancer Venus, there's Gemini, you have Mars and Pisces here, the Ten of Cups. I think that the information that you're receiving is, it's making you go, okay, I can work on this. I can really put forth that effort into this relationship. I don't mind doing the work, but I feel like for you guys, again, prior to actually being able to complete a job, you had to know what the fucking specs were, right? It's like, I need to know what I'm working with here so that I understand. And I feel like the thing that people don't give cancers, like they don't give cancers the benefit of making a decision for themselves, right? Because I feel like a lot of people that do deal with cancers, usually cancer tends to be a motherly figure, right? So people tend to hide things from cancers or they're not necessarily ready to express it to you guys. And I think that what happens is you guys get resentful because it's like, you should have given, you should have told me the entire truth so that I could have made an edu educated decision on how to move forward with you right but i don't think that people give cancer the benefit of the doubt which is what's aggravating and irritating like nothing pisses off a cancer more than knowing something is going on but that person not telling them and then it coming up later and kind of like slapping them in the face cancers do not like that shit and i feel like finally it's an ending to the secrets it's an ending to you being at a distance or this person holding you at a distance check this out. Your current situation is rebirth. There's a brand new, um, brand new, I feel like channel to your relationship. And I feel like it's one that has a lot of growth. And I feel like both people are actually investing in it together, which I think is fantastic. Um, yeah, but I do think there's still something here where you, it is taking a period of time and there is some type of choice or decision that needs to be made here. There's Capricorn or Jupiter in Capricorn. It's like for you, I think in order for you to be successful in whatever you're expanding in, you have to make sure that you've done the hard work first. And I feel like that nine of wands is you doing the hard work. One more card here for the current situation for cancer and their personal interest romantically. Three of Cups definitely could possibly be a reunion. That's Mercury and Cancer. You know, I think that you and them have a conversation with like, where is this going? Where do you want it to go? Here's where I see it going, right? It's like you and your person need to have these conversations in order for you guys to know the truth with where it's actually going, right? Um, okay, how does Cancer feel about this? One more time. How does Cancer feel about their current situation with their person of interest? The two of cups. Yes. Okay. How does Cancer's person of interest, how do they feel about the current situation with Cancer? Okay. 
the Six of Wands with the Ten of Wands, and these both came up in reverse. I think that your person, to be honest, I feel like they're toning down their ego a little bit. I think that they're letting that go. I think that they're not as focused on them. Six of Wands to me, Jupiter and Leo, that's a very selfish card in my opinion. Not selfish, but it's like, it's it's about me, right? My recognition, my rewards, my victory. It's not about the group victory. It's about one person's victory, right? However, that's reversed. So I feel like for your person, it's kind of coming down off this pedestal. And I think that it's understanding that they have to go back and they have to do the work. They can't move forward with you, Cancer, until they've done the work. And I feel like this person is in a place where they want this with you. So they don't, they don't care what they have to do. How did one more card? How does their person feel about the current situation between them and Cancer romantically? The Six of Pentacles. I'm going to be honest, Cancer, too, for your situation. I do think you're going back and forth with the decision here with whether or not you want to be with somebody. There's another person here as well. Yeah, I do. I, I definitely think that Libra, Cancer, Taurus. I think that you are okay right now giving to more than one person. That's why your partner feels this queen of swords. This, your partner feels like, no, you need to cut that shit out. I don't want you giving to more than one person here. But you're going back and forth. And I feel like it's somebody from your past that's resurrected or somebody from your past that's come forward that maybe has missed you for a period of time. And now they're finally here. Possibly a Leo or a Sag. Capricorn. But there's something definitely here, Cancer, where there is a rebirth in some type of situation and you do have a choice. Now, which is crazy because I think I just realized that when I'm looking at the cards. But check this out. Your outcome, right? It's This can be the one in romantic feelings. So obviously there's something that's going on here between you and this person and which one is it i'm not sure because you have i feel like more than one person here but cancer you feel really good about your situation with how you're moving forward and i feel like there is a level of balance here and you're giving to more than one person i think that you may be actually actively out there dating or actively out there giving okay with that being said, all of you beautiful, beautiful Cancers, I love you so much. Until next time, peace.